Hi, everybody. Continuing on from the last video, where we were finalizing the position of the exhaust, which meant having to take out the most interior cam lock flanges on both sides. No worries, we're going to have a little fix for that. Uh, then we start cutting the holes in the bottom of the cowl. Right, this is not the new cowl. The new cowl is different in two ways. One, uh, the center section, which you can see is raised up there, which normally was for having the exhaust pass through the center tunnel, which no longer happens, uh, is no longer there. And instead of it being flat on the side where the exhaust comes out on the sides, there are two fairings, basically semicircular scoops that go down and shroud the exhaust coming out. Well, we've got the old cowling. So, we have to cut holes. Now, the more I'm looking at the bottom, the more I'm thinking that I'm I, I'm pretty sure I am going to wind up uh, putting something in there, making some kind of fairing for the exhaust. Especially once, once the cabin heat cans are on, it's like, you know, with the cabin heat cans sort of sticking out, it's, it's, it's not bad, because the only people that are going to see them are, are on the ground, or if you get underneath, but still, it's like, you know, a couple of nice little scoops would really just cover those up. So, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Anyways, that's all the boring stuff. Let's talk about the exciting part of the video, which is uh, which is coming up. Uh, so everyone saw the first engine startup, which was great. No, what no one saw was the second engine startup, which was not so great. So the engine came to life for about 10 seconds and then sort of petered out as though it was fuel exhausted. That issue has been fixed uh, but since then. But what happened was the second time I went to start it, it was a little flooded and weird and it and it kicked back on me. Well, which is no big deal because it was, I mean, it was just a, a single kickback and then the engine was going to stop. I, because I still had my finger by the starter switch, got jumped, like like I got jumpy, like when the engine kicked back, I got startled, and I hit the switch again. Okay, so you got one flywheel going one way, and then you, <laughs> then you energize your starter, whose tiny little gear goes the other way. In cases like this, there's a magical kickback protection system built into the Skytech starters, which is nothing more than a, than a shear pin, and that's supposed to keep the much harder teeth of the starter gear from ripping apart the not so as, as strong teeth of the ring gear. And in this case, the shear pin failed by not failing and ripped a ton of teeth off of the ring gear. Scared the crap out of me and basically ended the work for the day. Good news though, no engine damage. Not really, all it was was a kickback. The only damage was to this ring gear and my ego. So now it's just a matter of gently cutting it off because you don't want to take any material off of the flywheel if you can help it. After that, the new ring gear will simply uh, slide into place once you heat it up. It won't actually, because all it does, it just sits there. All right? It just sits and gets held in place by friction. Now, what's very important is that there are, you know, timing marks on the gear itself or on the uh, on the flywheel. What you do is you take the new ring gear, you put it in the oven at like 450 for five minutes. That's all it takes, and then get some nice, you know, heavy gloves. Pick it up, and then it slips right onto the flywheel. At which point, it starts to shrink quickly. So you've got about five seconds to line up the teeth. Now, this being a 149 gear starter, there's only like two point something degrees between teeth. So the most you can ever really be off is a little bit more than one degree, but still, you'd like it to be as close as possible, So, which we did. Uh, it was scary. There was no damage. It has not deterred me in any way. We are going to move forward. So in the next video, more of the happy things. So thank you for joining me, everyone, and see you soon.